NFL brings us to the Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Today, two NFC clubs going head-to-head -head as it'll be the Minnesota Vikings taking on the New Orleans Saints. strapped in it's just about time to get the party started and we are underway from the Superdome they'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone and that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. play here's Cousins and he'll be hit as he releases it and that'll fall incomplete one thing we often talk about is setting the tone in a game how about this they came after him on play one and put him on the turf and forced an incompletion something for him to think about immediately right off the bat yeah and I don't think that they're going to back off either I think that they had success on the first play typically when a defense does that They've announced to you that this is what they plan to do throughout the game. So two incompletions have led him to an early third and ten. To throw is Cousins. And a throw there going to be incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They'll try and throw for it here. That's caught by the big tight end, TJ Hawkinson. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. Well, it's gutsy to go for it in the red zone. The problem there is they were in their own red zone. <laughs> Why in the world did they do that? They must have thought they had the exact play call that they needed to go a big way. And I'm still not even buying that one. I'm, I'm reaching on <laughs> You're searching. Way. Actually reaching. But I do know this. On the other side of the field, that coaching staff is screaming at their defense. If you don't handle this one right here, this is a great opportunity for us. Take it away, guys. And they did. And now excellent field position. Room here to run. They'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. That burst good for 20 and a first down. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. Here we go now on first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Miller. And he'll be stopped just outside the 5 at the 6. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. And they'll give Miller another crack. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown to New Orleans. Kendra Miller, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Saints are on the board first here this afternoon. Solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. now to start their next drive. Cousins on first down. And his throw is incomplete. 
It certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. It's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from it. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. On play action, Cousins. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Cousins. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. Marcus May with a pick. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Wow, so wipe out the INT roughing the passer. What a disaster. An absolute disaster. And you hope their lockers are not right next to each other <laughs> for the post game. Safe to say, one is not buying the other dinner. They're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. Marcus May with a pick. And he's going to take this one back to the 37 yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now after the INT, it's Carr. Over the middle, into the hands of Michael Thomas. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. Well, you've told me before, it's great to be an athlete. A lot of great athletes out there. It's good to have instincts, and he has those. I would take those above athleticism in a lot of cases because if you know where the ball's going before anyone else can get Touchdown, Saints! A great effort there. 29 yards. And the Saints lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter. Point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. Now a timeout called for by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. And that's complete to K.J. Osborne. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 25 yards that time. Cousins. That is caught by Josh Oliver, the former San Jose State Spartan. And 22 more yards there and another first down. Throwing his cousins. And he's got this to Jefferson. Touchdown, Vikings! Justin Jefferson, 35 yards. And the Vikings have cut it back within a score. 
And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him. Let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right? RAC. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. Joseph connects on the extra point. And that'll make our score 14 to 7. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shaheed. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves them with a second and three. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. The pick up there, and it's a first down. Through one corner, 14 7, our score. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Carr, underneath for Miller, able to avoid him at the 40, and he'll get up near the 45, they'll spot him at the 44, and that's good for a pickup of 10 yards, and they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Now a give up the middle to Williams, and he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Four yards to pick up, first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down to pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they do. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Dean Lowry, he's the one who runs him down. And my goodness, that is just a disastrous loss for this offense. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second and a country mile. Carr. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down. Then a near sack, they got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback, because that was awfully close. Third down throw incomplete as well. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Here comes the Saints punter now. Brandon Powell deep for Minnesota. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Here are the 
the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. Now second and seven from the 23. Play fake. Cousins. shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Had to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Throwing Cousins. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Down the right sideline. Justin Jefferson, touchdown! Justin Jefferson, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Vikings are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. What a first half he is compiling here. He's already over 100 yards receiving and now two touchdowns, CD. Brandon, you know I don't like to play the game where you start projecting when you're at a certain point. Well, let's face it, he's off to a tremendous start. So 200 yards, four touchdowns. I don't think anything's out of the question right now. He's blowing up coverages. You've got to double him every snap. Otherwise, he's going to defeat you on almost every play. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And that 14-0 lead to begin the ball game, well, that's gone now. Time to regroup. I think even up two touchdowns, they knew this wasn't going to be a walk in the park, and I think that's why we would see the head coach going up and down the sidelines telling his team, let's stay with it, let's keep going. It's almost like he knew they were going to make their run at him, and they have. As you said, let's see if they can regroup and get going again. Williams going to get it again on second down. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Throwing his car on third down. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Saints in the hurry up here. Clock continuing to roll. On first and ten, here's Carr. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. Dean Lowry, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. That's a ball he needs to let go of there. Wasn't the most time in the world to work through his progression, but NFL quarterbacks, they've got to sense the pressure. They've got that internal clock, and the ball has to be gone. And if you're not going to escape and run for it, you have to let it go before the pressure gets to you and puts you on the ground. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. After the sack here, second and 11. Here's Carr. Here's Johnson with a reception. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 39. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. 
This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles. And, oh, and this is going to be intercepted. Picked by Cameron Bynum. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting. You and I were talking with the coach, and he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that he operated off of to start the game. Nowhere on that script did it have that result. Here's Madison running on first down. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 17 yards, first down, Vikings. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case... Pulled him with the inside run. On first and ten, Cousins. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 16 more on that one and another first down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. They work now on second and nine. They go play action. Cousins. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. And it's caught in the end zone for the Viking touchdown by Justin Jefferson. Kirk Cousins with three touchdown passes now in the afternoon. And the Vikings have taken the lead. Joseph now to have the PAT. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, their goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let it go deep. Right sideline. Understand he's just down one possession, trying to make something happen by extending the play, but the coverage downfield was excellent. He escaped and bought some time, but that one goes incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. To throw, it's Carr. Setting up the screen for Miller. 
And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A Saints first down there on a gain of 11. They go back to the ground with Williams. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Now Carr. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Lewis Seen. And he will take this across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. So their woes on offense continue. That's the second pick thrown here in the third quarter. And we know it was ill-advised, but that was an opportunity to help them get back into the game. Instead, he throws another interception, and now their task is even tougher. They'll go Madison up the middle. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. It's a gain of 11 as the Vikings pick up the first. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Running for the first time with a fullback, C.J. Ham fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Second and nine. Now a give to Madison. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. And they're going to hurry back to the line now.